Well, hello, thank you for joining Create Talks. I'm here with my incredible intern, Manuela Zirkner, who is transforming the world of the arts and has done such a great job in our School of Creativity in this year. And we're gonna give your, you a little backdrop on who she is, on why she's here. So tell us, like, you came here mm -hmm. three years ago, came to the school. What was your background in the arts? Had you ever done painting? Had you ever pursued that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I come originally from Switzerland and I grew up in a family that um, was actually quite artistic. Um, my grandfather, when I was young, um, always encouraged me to do cards for my mom for like Mother's Day. Or Thank Christmas. you for grandparents that do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, um, and my mom was then actually the one who also encouraged me to start painting. Wow. And I, I still remember it like it was yesterday when she, um, she and I took our first canvas and um, we made a picture together and it was of a little girl doing wow. a handstand on the world. Um, how, how prophetic is that <laughs> about what you're doing now? Yeah, and it was, yeah, it was amazing. And my mom really encouraged me to go after the arts and to, to do what I love, basically. And um, yeah, I also in school, I liked, I always liked the arts classes. Um, I love to explore different things. Um, I would say that I'm a person who loves details. Yes. And I think um, even like in the arts, I just love the beauty of like the small things. And um, yeah, but then when I was about maybe 15, 16, I'm not sure what exact age, but I started to draw in worship. And um, just for myself, in my secret place, it would be a way of kind of like processing how I'm feeling, wow. how I'm doing. And that's basically how I started to connect it with God. I didn't really know that I was doing it, but I, I just started to, to process what I'm doing through colors, through, um, yeah, just through what I'm expressing. And um, yeah, but when I came to Bethel, I was super impressed by how you can actually link that with the prophetic and with yeah. hearing God's voice and, and express that in, in that kind of way. Um, yeah, and but in first year, when I came to first year, I actually was um, pretty just intimidated by the skill level and just everything that I saw. And it was something, it had always been something so personal to me that I kind of didn't know how would I let this out or mm -hmm. how like it felt too vulnerable to share with other people or to to yeah to really let it and that seen. and that's a great point Manuela because a lot of us out there sometimes we feel intimidated oh what if somebody saw what I've created mm -hmm. or this is just for me personally but then you began to see how people were impacted by the art mm -hmm. and that people could be transformed with art and you got involved in Vibra Hospital as, as well. Mm -hmm. And share about what that was like. Because what we do in, in our school is we have a time on Thursday when students, they get to sign up and they choose which group they want to get involved in to go out and to transform the city. And Manuela was in Vibra Hospital, so she would go there every week and she would do art. <laughs> so she learned that her art and her music were so impactful to just the patients who were trying to get involved in, okay, rehab, get better, and they would be depressed or they would be lonely, and then you would come with your team and you would bless them and, yeah. and share about how that transformed you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually, I think I want to start out with just how second year for me started, because in first year, God really encouraged me to go after just my fears, and I would sign up just for every class that Yay. <laughs> I knew it would like challenge me because I really wanted to get freedom. And, um, and as I came to second year, I felt the same thing. And I remember that there was a class, an AMT actually, about um, learning to become a prophetic artist with Teresa. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I would love to learn that, but like I know it's, it's a fear, but I also know that I have to go after it. Yes. And really, um, yeah, really get, victory there and um, so I signed up for it 
and I still remember our first class when you had us just like breaking off any performance and focusing on the Holy Spirit and on God's presence and just um, yeah just partnering with him and that really really set me free that yeah. class really set me free and it was the first time that I realized that actually what I was doing in the secret place that it wasn't that hard to do it outside Yay! <laughs> <laughs> because it was all about just being in God's presence first totally, yeah. and then coming from that place rather than wow. being under pressure being under performance and so yeah so that's what I learned from that class and then also learned to bring that into Vibra Hospital um, where we would always like First, we would just pray, we would pray for each other and we would really focus on the presence of God before we before we went out. And um, and from that point on, it was was easier for me to create and then yeah. give it away and see the impact that it has on people. And even if it's just a small like art card, I remember um, in my in my second year when I was in the hospital, I I drew a card, a Christmas card. And I just wrote something really simple, like, um, God loves you and he sees mm. you and he is always with you. And I gave that to this older woman and she just started crying. And she wow. was so touched just by this piece. And it was like super simple, but it was just what I felt when I was asking the Lord. And she said, you know, that means so much to me right now. Come and, on. And she had kind of been lonely and just like, Wow. by herself but she said that she's gonna frame it and she's gonna put it up even when she goes home I was just yeah it was so so encouraging to me as well that when I partner with the Holy Spirit that he's gonna he's gonna use that and it's gonna be a blessing it's so powerful isn't it and yeah. then you in third year you signed up to do this <laughs> as far as to take the arts and begin to train up the people the students that are in first and second year and then to train up in an apprenticeship group where you mm -hmm. would create with them and then they would even do it on stage and there's so many testimonies about what God did yeah I really want you to share a couple because one of the things that happens is that sometimes we we don't really value who we are and we kind of say well that's for somebody else but Manuela you haven't been to art school you haven't been to that, but you just have been really birthed in a movement where your art has come from your heart mm -hmm. and compassion and your art's amazing. And now you're instructing others on how to do the same. And so I really want you to know, like, this isn't about, oh my gosh, I have to have a degree for this, I have to do that. It really yeah. is about people and the understanding that their art and what they can see prophetically can transform another person actually heal them and it actually set them free mm -hmm. and so share some testimonies that you feel would really encourage people today mm -hmm. um, yeah there's lots of things to choose from um, what would I pick um, I, I personally because because she was with me in uh, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. I personally love the one about healing when you drew that picture for healing and that person was healed. Do you remember that in Switzerland? Which which place was that? Uh, I'm not sure, but I know that, <laughs> remember when you were talking about that? You were sharing about that that picture. But share, share whatever you want, but <laughs> sure. we're just trying to... Sure, yeah, um, I'll just uh, share. Um, just share one of the testimonies from Switzerland. Um, I think, yeah, the thing about breaking off performance and coming from coming from the presence, um, I just learned that that's so so vital for people who are who are wanting to pursue like what it looks like to create with God, um, because it's such a temptation to fall back into especially if you are a painter because it's like something visual it's something you look at and you your eyes sometimes charge really quickly and mm -hmm. so so it's important to be focused with your heart and your spirit first it's good and um yeah and so i remember painting with 
um, with one of the church members in Switzerland. And we actually did a collaborative piece where we, um, we just asked God, God, what, what do you want to release to light and what do you want to do? And, um, and I felt, I just, I don't know, I just felt like there was this pressure and just this um, performance thing that I that just wanted to like take over. And I was like, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, that's not where we're going to come from. Come and, um, and so what we did is we both closed our eyes and um, we first asked Holy Spirit what kind of color he wanted us to use. And we took the color and and then with closed eyes just started like kind of scribbling on the on the canvas. And <laughs> and so she did that and then I did that and it was so much fun. It was really just really cool. And um, yeah, and then actually it's as we opened our eyes again it kind of looked like this flower but like with yellow and red it, it looked almost looked like a rose on fire mm -hmm. and and we were like wow that's really cool that's like that was so holy spirit because we had no idea what what was gonna come out and um <clears throat> yeah and then we ended up um painting a rose in a heart that was on fire and it was super abstract, but I, it just was, I feel like it was such a free piece and just, but so Holy Spirit led and just so, so much fun as and well. And who was it for? What, what happened when you gave it away? Um, yeah, it was actually for people who have been feeling like depression or just like, yeah, emotional pain. Mm -hmm. And there were lots of people that got touched and wow. really were impacted by just looking at the picture and us releasing the word. Isn't that crazy? So yeah. it's a ma it's also a trust for you two to work on the same piece together mm -hmm. and to close your eyes. Hello, has any painter ever done that before that's <laughs> out there while they're on stage? I mean, that's, that's incredible. That takes a lot of bravery, but it also takes uh, where you're letting go of the fear of man, mm -hmm. which is crazy good. And and I think that that's part of the process of trusting the Holy Spirit, isn't it? Yeah. And then giving it away. Uh, one of the things that we believe in is we believe that God wants us as a group of people to learn to be creative by trusting what the Holy Spirit is saying and not just trusting on our own hand to create or to create in music or whatever that the Holy Spirit can add more. And that's incredible that you shared that. Part of the beauty of what you carry mono also is the fact like it's time for the church to understand what they can do in art going out mm -hmm. and so we released that in the streets of Arau we released that yeah. and that was in Switzerland we released yeah. it as we went out in so many different places and we saw so many people get touched yeah. by artists that had never given away their mm. art and they're giving it away to strangers, to people they don't know. And the people are crying, going, how did you know that was for me? Mm -hmm. And it was so crazy because you were leading that team. And you were seeing the impact of that art isn't just meant for, okay, for me personally, but it's meant for others. Mm -hmm. And I love that about what you were doing and, and what you're going after. And the great thing about what we're, we're talking about is that Manuela is going back to Switzerland yes <laughs> and she'll be in tune if anybody's from tune you're gonna be seeing Manuela all over the place in August September and you're gonna be leading the arts there and share about like what your vision is how you want to see Switzerland come into the its call and why creativity is so important mm -hmm. yeah I am so excited to go back home um, and really see what God has for us like in Switzerland I believe that there are so many people in churches in Switzerland that are so creative, but they have no idea um, that right. God actually wants to to use that gift to bless other people and to set, see people just being set free. And um, my heart is really for people who um, who are in that place that I was in first year who have a love for the arts, who have a, lo a love for Jesus and just to like um, 
see them come alive in in what they're doing and see them um, just see what Jesus does through their gift and through through who they are and um, it's really on my heart I would love to um, even connect the artists because that's one thing that I really learned from you Mama T as yeah. well is just the power of community and of encouragement and yes. um, we are always coming together on Tuesday nights as artists and are encouraging each other are yeah. going after the more practicing with art and it's yeah I would really love to just um, start a community where people can come together and where you can be um, growing together yeah. and um, encouraging each other to go after the more and learn just like grow yeah. with each other yeah I think what Manuela is talking about is so important is like behind the scenes of we just want to encourage you to see the school of creativity see what we did last week and the power of the different communities that you see on stage with the creative expressions the power mm -hmm. of all the people that were painting that's one of the things that that Manuela helped oversee and we did a whole gallery about each day of the theme what that meant but people would come in there and they would get wrecked by these this artwork because it was actually displaying the heart of heaven and people would buy it and they would go oh my gosh I'm getting blessed by this painting because of this because of that but what if we had never seen that art could prophesy or that art mm -hmm. could transform and the beauty of Switzerland is I don't know if you've ever been there or if you're from there but mm -hmm. it's so beautiful there it's just strikingly gorgeous and to not let creativity in the in the art form flourish within the church it's like saying that the church is a box and that creativity is not able to function in the way that it's, it's supposed to be and mm -hmm. when we allow God to to co-create with us we have some of the most magnificent paintings but what's great about that is that we get to see what God's saying to the church what he's saying to each other and to the whole life of the body and shift that from people thinking oh my gosh that would only be seen in a gallery to that fact that it's being seen in a church mm -hmm. and so I just want to I would love for you to pray for them mm -hmm. and if you have a word of knowledge I do have a word of knowledge for this is crazy but I saw a back that was not straight and it was curved and I saw you going on like you can look on like Bethel Arts on stage we have our own Facebook link that you can look at our art I saw you saying Holy Spirit what painting is linked to my healing I saw you looking at one of those paintings and asking God and he's going to heal you from that. I also feel like there's somebody out there that was an artist who was like Manuela, had done stuff when you were young, but then you never saw that mm -hmm. God could use your art. And I think there's going to be more than just one. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like as you listen to Manuela's testimony that God's going to show you people that you're supposed to draw for, that you're supposed to touch. And when you, the, the thing that we tell people is just to say, hey, I feel like I was supposed to draw this for you. What does that mean? And again, you can do this in the marketplace. You can do this with friends, with people you know. But I just feel like God's going to release you to just have faith and go for it. And we give you permission to create. But if, if you have any words of knowledge, mm -hmm. Manuela, or if you feel like you want to impart anything, go for it. Yeah, I just... I feel like one thing that I was reminded of as well was just when God spoke to me like during this process and said you know um, you can actually put value to what you create um, where like you can like we we can speak to ourselves and about what we create and we can call Come it on. like we can give it value and it's not acceptable to give it any other value than the value that God is giving it. Woo! And, Preach and so, it! Yeah, I'm just, I just want to pray for everyone who is watching this, that you would yeah. just um, experience God's love and just His, His presence as you are creating and that you would have thoughts that reflect His heart when you're about what you're creating and about who you are as an artist or as a creative person in general and god i just ask that you yeah that you would really um just give them the courage to 
um, to go out and to, to use their gifting to see your kingdom come. Yeah, yeah in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. I really want to encourage you to look at the artwork uh, and that, that you see from the School of Creativity. Study that. Look at that. Uh, begin to look at our Bethel Arts on stage, impartarts.com, which is my website with all of my imprints. But begin to ask the Holy Spirit to, to unliven you, to actually give you an understanding that God has given you a spiritual eye to see things beyond what normal people see. And that's what the prophetic artist does. And so we just want to equip you. And thank you, Manuela, for joining me. <laughs> and she's going to have so many testimonies, I know, this year as far as what's happening in Switzerland and how this is growing and how this is being birthed. And again, we just want to say, go for your dream mm -hmm. and let your creativity shine. Like what she said, don't think it's not significant because it is. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Manuela, thank you again. And post, if you have any paintings that you would like to post about what, what you feel it's releasing or any testimonies on your paintings healing, please let us know. Thanks again. We'll see you next week.